it's a taxi vlog 251 if I'm not mistaken I often am mistaken but not this time no I know it was 250 last time and we're getting organized here while we're starting our Monday night it is Monday the 15th of April yeah April well last week uh, I came out on Monday and uh, it was a good night. I did quite well and I didn't work too hard doing quite well. I had some relatively good luck and enough business to keep me going for the whole night. was pleased with that. And Tuesday, Tuesday started slow. And that's okay Tuesday often starts slow and then I think it was my third or fourth fair around 930 maybe 10 o'clock at night it might have been a little later than that I think it was after I talked to Cindy and uh, got this horrible drunk young late woman I won't say lady because she was not speaking like no lady she was talking like a fucking bitch. She was right in my face, and the first thing she asked me, how are you going to vote? How are you going to vote? I said, I don't vote. You got to vote. You got to vote. You must vote. I said, I didn't even know there was an election. Don't you watch the news? Anyway, it went on like this. I could barely get a destination out of her, but I got it after I asked her three times because she was slurring her words and she was so drunk. And I can't see the addresses on the street, and I'm pulling out my spotlight. She says, it's not how it's right there by the black truck. Well, there were two black trucks, <laughs> and the first one I saw was the one I pulled over by, and she said, no, no, the other one. So we went to the other one. And then she starts... Uh, talking about how she hates her in-laws and how her in-laws live upstairs from her and she hates them and she wants to stay in the car with me because I'm so hot and she likes my beard and she hates her in-laws and oh the sun's out and it's behind a cloud and it's still bright ah, there so she she hates her in-laws and she wants to stay in the cab with me because she doesn't want to go in the house and I say well uh, I'm sorry uh, that you don't like your in-laws but uh, I can't keep you in here because I've got another call she said oh you got another call well can I call you sometime can I call you and she's 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 smudging the windows and she's right in my face and she's smudging the window pointing at the house and she hates her in-laws and she's all turned on by me and I say look I'm I'm married okay uh, oh you're married you mean I wasted all that to get you and and you're married yeah I'm sorry I could have said I was gay too you know it wouldn't have made any difference Anyway, I got her out of the car. I got the money off her. Mission accomplished. Later on that same night, it was kind of slow, and I had uh, got my lease and fuel on. I uh, had my expenses on. I got called to uh, the hotel nearby. I went to the hotel. There was another cab sitting there. And uh, the other cab was just sitting there. And so I went up to the hotel entrance and I picked up this guy. He was a coconut. Yeah, he wanted to go downtown. And he wanted to find a hooker. He wanted to find a girl. And we drove around and around and around and it was like after two. And there were not many hookers around. There were no hookers around. Anyway, we drove around and around, and there was a girl walking down the sidewalk. He says, is she working? I said, I don't know. Why don't you go ask her? So he asked her, and she says, yeah, yeah. 
and they got in the car and he told her where they're going to go to and uh, back to his hotel but first he had to get money at his parents house or some damn thing he was talking about uh, he she was he was talking about blow and he was talking about crack and he was talking how crack doesn't get him high and that it has to be blow and she says she can't get any blow but she can get lots of crack and 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 and, and so on and so on and so on and it ends up that uh, at one point we were about one third of the way to the place where he was going to and she said let me out she said just let me out just let me out right here right now let me out so I let her out and uh this guy gonna walk the street. Yes, he's gonna walk across the street. Now it's my turn. Oh, let's get out of here. Okay. So, finally, after letting go of the young hooker who didn't quite like how excited this guy was, we went to a house in the suburbs and He's, he left his bag on the back seat, and it was like $40 on the meter. And he got his dad to come out and pay with the credit card. <laughs> Can you believe this? And the whole time he was bragging about how he makes, you know, $6,000 a month and up in the oil rigs or some fucking story like that. But, you know, and... Yeah. Whatever. I got my forty dollars, and I had a couple other good fares after that. A couple of long, longer fares. I think I made about a hundred dollars. That that was okay for a for a Tuesday night. Wednesday I came to work too, and <coughs> even Wednesday was pretty good. <coughs> huh? Yeah, as you can tell. There's still some of this stuff in my throat, but it's all loose. And I do feel a little better because I slept all weekend practically. The only things I got up was for was to go get some groceries with Cindy. We got our groceries for the next two weeks. Enough groceries for me, her, and her sister who comes to visit on Friday. Or is it on Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. I have to go get her at 8 in the morning at the airport on Sunday. So, uh, that, that, uh, Wednesday night worked out pretty good. And, you know, even Thursday night wasn't too terrible. I did okay for a Thursday night. No great big stories about hookers and, and drunk assholes. And that's it. Step right out into the street where it's not a crosswalk. Sure. Take your child by the hand and just walk across the road in front of traffic. Welcome to Victoria. So, uh, yeah, even the Thursday was good. Then Friday came along, and Friday I had this one call from Walmart, and the guy was going to uh, the senior center next to the Lawn Bowling Association. It's sort of at the dead end of a street near the part of town where I like to work. It's my turn, you. Okay. Not a lot of traffic up tonight. That's nice. But the little bit that there is, that's stupid. Okay, so... When the old guy got out, a younger man came along up to me and says, I'm going to need a cab in about 13 minutes. Can you wait for me? I said, well, if I don't have another call, I'll take you. So I waited about two minutes and I got another call but that other call was way far away it would have taken me about eight or nine minutes to get to it and I just rejected that on the spot because it's a Friday Friday is a busier night and when it's a busy night you don't want to drive around empty well I got sent to an address that was a couple blocks away and I got there and the guy says, and it was raining, eh? it was raining and, and windy and ugly out. And the guy says, take me to Walmart where I can catch a bus. Okay, we'll go to Walmart. He says, how much will it be to the ferry? I said, from here, about $55, $60. He says, do it. I say, to the ferry? Okay. So we went to the ferries. It was like 
67.45 and he gave me or 57.45 he gave me sixty dollars and, and this was after we had made a deal for fifty five dollars flat rate i don't usually do flat rates but when it's so close when it's two dollars off and it's like a fifty sixty dollar ride of course i'm gonna do it for a couple bucks less i still got a tip so i must have said something right or done something right or i entertained him just enough and he said this sure beats sitting in a bus and waiting for it so okay then as the night wore on uh, I had one that went out to the Western communities which was okay you know Western communities Langford $30 fare that's good and then it was just after two when the whole bar rush happens and there's all these people puking out of the bars but I didn't go downtown I stayed in the suburb suburbs like I always do I hate downtown. Too many stops, too many idiots, and too many assholes who drink too much too fast. Of course, you've heard that story from me before. Well, I'm glad I waited because I got sent to... I think it was a house. Yeah, it was a house. Just a house. And there was four people. And three of them... One of them was getting dropped off just a few blocks away. No problem. Dropped her off. There were two guys. There was a, a guy in the front and another guy and a, and a woman in the back. And uh, they wanted to go out to Brentwood Bay. <laughs> so I took them out to Brentwood Bay. The two guys got out at two addresses in Brentwood Bay. And then the last woman went to the 10,000 block not the, the 10,000 block of West Saanich, which is way out the end of the peninsula, past the airport, $80 fare in total. Yeah, I like that. That was good. I got $80 for taking them out there. And then uh, I came back into town and did a few more. I had another one that went out to the Western communities, another one out to Langford. So I didn't really do that many trips, but I had some good long ones. And I ended up doing good. I had overs. I had more charges and stuff than I needed uh, to pay the uh, lease. And, uh, and I had some overs, which will perhaps pay for the scrape on the bumper that uh, happened the first week I was driving this car. I've got three more months until the next inspection, which is going to fail. You know what? I forgot to tell you about the hotel fire. Right here, well, you can't see it because the camera's pointing the wrong way. But right here, was it Thursday night? I think it was Thursday night. The hotel, or the restaurant <coughs> at this hotel here caught on fire. And they, they evacuated the whole hotel. And I got four fares from that. I was dispatched to it. And they were, um, they were calls that the people who were green light the hotel I don't maybe you can see it in the background now it's anyway the the restaurant on the hotel the flames were leaping up through the roof it was just incredible to see and there was fire trucks around and cops and all kinds of stuff going on it was just nuts and uh, the fire lasted for a couple hours and they were just spraying water on it and uh, and uh, it was cool. Uh, that helped me out a little bit. I got a couple things out of that. A lot of them were just short fares to, to a nearby hotel. And we're coming up on the place where I like to work usually. And there is, I think, Derek and Tony. Looks like Derek and Tony, or is it Harjinder and Tony? It's Derek and Tony. Because Derek drives Harj's car. Anyways, it was a productive week. I did well. I'm at <clears throat> my sweet spot right now. I've got a book to read, Axis, by Robert Charles Wilson. I'm getting on in there. I, I, I finished the last book, which, which was really, really exciting and interesting. It was good. There was a nice twist towards the end. I enjoyed that. But uh, before I babble on some more, I uh, hope yours is better than mine, and I'm going to enjoy this book.